Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs and welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. We have a good bout, another bout that sadly was KO'd by the coronavirus. Virgil Ortiz versus Samuel Vargas. Let's just get right to it. Ortiz is 22, Vargas is 30, Ortiz is 5'10", Vargas is 5'9". And um, actually, you know what? I'm going to double check that. Yep. He is 5'5'9". Five, five, They're both welterweights at 147. 70 reach for Ortiz. 72 reach for Vargas. Virgil Ortiz, 15-0, 15, 15 knockouts. And um, and Samuel, Samuel Vargas, or Sammy Vargas, 31 wins, 5, five losses. He has been stopped twice. Um, and we're going to talk about his record because he does have the better record um, as opposed to uh, Virgil Ortiz. This is a 12-round fight, 3-minute round, 10-point must scoring system, no mandatory eight count. Three knockdown rule waived. Let's go. Ahead. Let's get right right to it. I'm actually going to open up a window. I'm actually going to open up a couple of windows, just because I think it's going to be raining a little bit here in um, beautiful Orange County. And um, this bout, I want to say this bout was supposed to happen in March. And, you know, these two guys are two um, tough, tough guys. I think the idea is that Samuel Samuel Vargas, who was taking on the likes, he's lost to Amir Khan, lost to Louis Colazzo, lost to Danny Garcia. Although I think against Colazzo, it was a it was a it was a it was a, it was a tough loss. Like it was it was a loss that 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 maybe could have could have been a victory. Um, and then uh, he's lost to Danny Garcia. He's lost to Amir Khan, Louis Colazzo, Errol Spence. Um, and then he has another loss. He has a draw against um, uh, Mauro Godoy, Maximiliano Godoy. Um, so he has a record. He has a pedigree, whereas um, whereas I am uh, looking at the record of Virgil Ortiz, and Ortiz has 15 knockouts, but he doesn't have the um, level of uh, he doesn't have the level you know, of, of, of competition that, um, that, uh, Sammy, Sam, Sammy Vargas does. So we're coming out now and you're seeing Vargas being cagey and you're seeing, uh, Virgil Ortiz just kind of coming, being, being an assassin like, uh, like, uh, how he is. So Virgil Ortiz landing with the uh, with the uh, right right hand on the face of Sammy Vargas. And uh, Virgil Ortiz doing very well from a distance against the cagier, craftier, possibly Sammy Sammy, Sammy Vargas. And Virgil Ortiz, uh, looking at looking at his record, um, I glanced at it as I was setting this up, and and it didn't really seem like he had a ton of names on his uh, resume. Um, you know, names that I would recognize. Um, well, I guess Antonio Orozco, oh, Mauricio Her Herrera, but that's not the Mauricio Herrera that really gave Danny Garcia such a tough, su such a tough time. I think that Ortiz is probably gonna gonna win that, gonna win that round. Wow, the judges are giving it to Sammy Vargas. Two judges giving it to Sammy Vargas. One judge giving it to Virgil Ortiz. So Virgil Ortiz behind in this. I well shows you what I know. Um, and looking at the, uh, yeah, looking at his, his record. So Antonio Orozco, really the only name that I recognize there. Although Brad, Brad Solomon, um, he, that was his, that was his last victory. So, you know, Virgil Ortiz, what he has going for him, you know, amongst the many things, he is a perfect 15 and 0. Um, whereas um, Sammy, Sammy, where Sammy Vargas is not, but, but Sammy Vargas brings a lot of experience. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens. Um, once again, you are watching, you are watching Boxing Time TV. 
My name is Evan Jacobs. If you like what you're seeing, please uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Please um, ring the bell. Please share these links as Virgil Ortiz brings Sammy Vargas, in, you know, draws him into him and and uh, unloads on him. And um, and uh, things are things are looking pretty good for um, for. For Sammy, for you know Virgil, Virgil Ortiz and Sammy Vargas, I, I, I don't really make much of that first round. Not that I, not that I totally think Virgil Ortiz is going to even win this. I just think that you know first round, kind of getting out the jitters, you know, big, big stage, big, big opponent. Sammy Vargas has been there before. He's going to be naturally more relaxed. He's going to be naturally more ready for this kind of fight. And he's doing well with his with his with his jab. His jab seems to be keeping Virgil Ortiz at bay. And we'll have to see if that can uh, continue. And once again, you're watching Boxing Time TV. My name is my name is Evan Jacobs. If you like if you like this, if if you if you like this, please um, please like, comment, and and subscribe. Please uh, please you know share these share these share these links with uh, your fellow you know people that like boxing. I'm just trying to kind of fill this. Boxing time TV space with um with uh um with just a lot more um content you know a lot more simulated content and and that is my that is my plan. And so right now, Virgil Ortiz landing. I, I I think he had a much better round. I think he used the ring better. We'll see what the judges say. There's now ten more rounds left in this left in this bout, and uh, they're both breathing heavy. And Vargas has a cut over his eye, but one judge giving it to Vargas, one judge having it even, and another judge, and one judge giving it to Virgil Ortiz. So uh, Sammy Vargas still holding his two point lead as we go into the third to the third round. Let's see if uh, he can keep it up against Virgil Virgil Ortiz. And sometimes maybe the judges just like it when a fighter's busier. Maybe they just like, you know, certain things that a fighter's doing. And Sammy Vargas going to the body gets tagged there for his uh, trouble. So, yeah, coming up next, um, I believe I'm going to do Shakur Stevenson versus Manuel Mariaga. And then um, Gennady Golovkin versus Canelo, the third one. And then, depending on what I have, de depending on how things look, because... I'm doing these, uh, I used to do one a week, now I'm doing uh, two a week, especially, you know, as we're all sort of under quarantine and this whole coronavirus thing. Um, it's the kind of thing I'm doing two a week. Um, so I'm just going to try to fill this up. And my feeling is, is that once boxing, once all this stuff kind of gets, gets normalized and we know when there's going to be these bouts, we'll have all this content, all this simulated content that we can kind of lo look back and see who won and I'm telling you, Sammy Vargas is doing pretty darn good on the outside, and he's and he's and he's doing things that are difficult for Virgil Ortiz to counter. So it, it's it's very interesting in that regard. And he's going to the body too, which cannot be discounted. And I know that Vargas has a cut, so we'll see if Virgil Ortiz tries to kind of work on that a little bit. All right, just sitting back watching this fight with you. I find that sometimes I uh, talk maybe uh, maybe a bit more 
than I uh, should. So I'm, I'm, I'm just sort of watching this fight, sitting back with you guys on a Sunday. And I'm telling you, I think we're having one of the better fights of the year here because I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I think Sammy Vargas is, is finding a way to do certain things that uh, maybe other opponents have not been able to do against, against uh, Virgil Ortiz. All right, so both fighters breathing, breathing heavy. Vargas having a cut over his eye. Judges having it even on two of the scorecards. And one judge giving it to Virgil Ortiz. So Virgil Ortiz creeping ahead, maybe going to even it up this round. Virgil Ortiz at 87, Sammy Vargas at uh, 88. And we'll see if Sammy Vargas can uh, keep, this, keep this going. You know, one thing is for sure is that, you know, um, Virgil Ortiz, you know, maybe 22, and I, I believe Samuel Vargas is uh, 30. One thing that is true is that, you know, Vargas is, is a very youthful 30, even though he's been in a lot of wars. And so, you know, I think the idea is, you know, maybe some people thought Virgil Ortiz was going to walk all over Samuel Vargas, and it's just not happening. Oh, man, and Virgil Ortiz landing here. I'm telling you, we're seeing a lot of good work. We're seeing a lot of good action happening in this, the fourth round of this fight. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. You can always follow me on, on Instagram. My, my handle there is Boxing Time with, with Evan. And, um, you know, if you like what you're seeing here on Boxing Time TV on YouTube, please uh, subscribe, please comment, please direct message me if there's bouts that you want to see. Just want to, like like I said, this is small, but the people that are on here, I think, enjoy this. I think that they're a dedicated bunch. I think that they appreciate this. And I think that if you want just someone that's going to be hitting it every single week and, and not overwhelm you, um, but give you consistent content, Boxing Time TV is the place. And, you know, I've been following the sport for 14 years. I wrote the movie Knockout with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I made the movie Schusterman Living in a Boxing Fable. I made uh, Boxing Time, um, which you can watch Boxing Time and Knockout on Tubi TV. Folks, we're seeing some great action here. These guys are giving as good as they get. And Virgil Ortiz is starting to open up a little bit. But Sammy Vargas still doing really well and stopping negating Virgil Ortiz from really pressing, pressing any kind of an advantage. Oh, and going to the body is Virgil Ortiz. Oh, and the back and forths are happening. And these guys are landing. And it, what, 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 what Virgil Ortiz is doing now that he wasn't really doing as much before is when he gets hit, he's hitting Virg Samuel Vargas right back. We're on the final 10 seconds. All right. So now they're saying that uh, Ortiz is breathing heavy. Vargas is obviously tired and has a cut over his eye. Now Virgil Ortiz slowly starting to take over. Let's see if he can continue to take over. Um, uh, Virgil Ortiz up by two, two points. I'm really hoping that this doesn't settle in to how some of these fights settle in and it just becomes a one-sided beating. And I'm telling you, Samuel Vargas having moments now.
Oh, and Virgil Ortiz pounding Samuel Vargas against the ropes. <laughs> oh, and just continues doing it, but Vargas comes off the ropes and lands. I'm telling you, this is great two-way action, folks. Oh, wow. A left hand. Oh, man, Virgil Ortiz explodes on Samuel Vargas. Wow. Oh, man. I don't know that Samuel Vargas is going to get up from that. That was some great two-way action. Oh, man. Wow. What a, of a fight. Virgil Ortiz exploding on Sammy Vargas. What a way to end that fight. The winner's Virgil Ortiz by a knockout. The fight lasted five rounds. Ortiz was not knocked down. Vargas was knocked down one time and has a gash over his eye. Wow. Virgil Ortiz, give him credit. It was close all the way. Samuel Vargas in there with him. And look at how close it is. Razor thin. 39-38 uh, for Vargas on one judge's scorecard. Even on, an, on the other judge's scorecards, 39-39. And then 40 37 for Virgil Ortiz. What a very interesting fight. What an enjoyable fight on Boxing Time TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw here today, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your uh, family and friends. Give me a follow on uh, Instagram, Boxing Time with, with Evan. And our motto here at Boxing Time TV, if you like what you saw, watch it now. Then watch the real thing and compare. And also another thing I was going to say is direct message me if there's fights that you want to see. We will see you next time with more simulated boxing content. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.